Hello and welcome to Box, where we review, unbox and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the Samsung QN94A Neo QLED TV in 55 inches. As a compromise between the QN90A and the QN95A, this European exclusive has the best of both worlds, offering great picture quality, connectivity and a few luxury extras at an affordable cost. So lifting this TV out of the box, you get a great idea of the scale here. We have the 55 inch option, but this remarkable piece of kit also comes in a variety of sizes to best suit your space, from the smaller 50 inch up to the impressive 85 inch size. Just inside the box, you'll find an array of accessories. It includes two remote controls, one regular and one universal, a power cable, and your setup guides. I was interested to see that the universal remote comes with two charging options. You can either plug it into the power source via the USB-C port at the base, or it comes with an inbuilt solar panel on the back to charge through a natural light source alone. Out of the two remotes, I find myself reaching for the smart remote first. I have easy access to the game bar when it comes to playing games, it feels more natural in hand and it has that inbuilt microphone that lets me control the TV and talk to my digital assistant with just the touch of a button. The stand comes in two sections that slot into each other, secured by the four screws at the top. Once you've laid the TV face down on a secure, covered surface, you'll need to attach the stand on the back using the other four screws provided. Now that it's set up on the stand, it's simply a case of going through the setup stage. This part can sometimes be lengthy given the amount of personalised features on offer here, such as logging into accounts, choosing your app subscriptions and setting up personal assistance. But if you don't have time to set this up yet, then there is just the option to skip all of it straight to use. The TV fits neatly into any contemporary space with its sleek, unbelievably slim design, sporting a silver edging and a sand black stand. The super slim design opens up a variety of placement possibilities, from wall mounts to thinner TV stands. Even at 55 inches, it's great to see that full edge-to-edge -edge picture and an almost invisible bezel around the screen, offering up that beautiful, full unobstructed view. Following on with the minimal theme, you'll be hard pressed to find any trailing messy wires here. Despite the fact that it supports a traditional back placement for the ports as opposed to the one connect box, it still holds a series of wire channels built into the bottom half of the TV, allowing you to easily tuck away wires behind the stand for that clean finish. In terms of connections, we have your standard LAN internet connection, terrestrial or cable input, two USB ports, optical audio output, common interface, and four HDMI ports, with only one supporting that 2.1 compatibility. The screen is nicely balanced on this weighted stand in the centre, leaving plenty of room underneath for accessories such as a soundbar. As you'd come to expect with any modern TV, it's completely integrated with the latest smart technology, enabling you instant access to your favourite TV and movie apps without relying on other subscription boxes or consoles. But Samsung do want you to get the most from your TV, so they have included a series of unique features that make viewing even easier than before. If you find that you're constantly looking between your phone and the TV, then the multi-view feature is a handy tool to use. By connecting your smartphone, you can cast your phone screen to the TV to simultaneously watch a show or play games whilst checking your phone in the same screen space. Of course, as this is a Samsung model, the feature largely does cater to Samsung devices when it comes to tap view connection. But if you're an iPhone user like me, there's no need to worry too much as you can still use the screen mirroring and Apple Play features built into this device to fully utilise multi-view. The best part about this feature is the ability to play games alongside another input. If you're stuck on a certain level or section of your game, multi-view allows you to play YouTube beside your game screen for watching a walkthrough in real time. Of course, it's all completely adaptable. You can change your sound input from each screen, alter the window size and switch up the input to make the experience as comfortable as possible for you. Samsung have really thought about how the user interacts with their TV by tailoring the interface to work best with your favourite entertainment choices. Samsung TV Plus is a free TV service that comes integrated into the system. I found that I was never stuck for something to watch as it offers a variety of movies and TV shows to keep everyone entertained. There is access to a wide range of subscription services such as Netflix and Disney+, Plus, giving you instant access to all of these apps using the handy home bar at the bottom of the screen. The Samsung Health feature offers free access to over 3,000 hours of interactive health content and exercises to help you create your ideal workout in the comfort of your own home. It works together with your smartwatch to track your progress and help you fully manage a healthy lifestyle. In this current climate, it's perfect if you can't get to the gym while also allowing you to save some money. 
So this TV boasts a 3840 by 2160 display resolution capable of 4K quality, offering that stunning picture that truly gives you that cinematic experience. So this model does have a much lower energy efficiency rating, meaning it does naturally have a lower peak brightness. However, there's no noticeable evidence here as I put this TV through a basic brightness test, showing clear transitions between 100 and 4000 nits with ease. From the different content that I've watched, both light and dark images look sharp with no distortion or faults. The Smart AI powered 4K Neo Quantum processor uses adaptive technology for focused lights and blacks, defined contrast and intense colour. So with all of the AI features enabled, this TV will automatically adjust brightness and contrast while upscaling the resolution of anything you watch, from regular TV shows to your favourite movies and games. All of this is possible due to the super sharp quantum backlight mini LEDs that help create an ultra fine precise picture quality, making a breakthrough for Samsung's TVs as their sharpest display yet. I found that there was no worry of securing the best seat in the house because day or night the super ultra wide viewing angle feature stops any annoying glare from windows or lamps as the anti-glare screen absorbs direct light. So you can always enjoy the rich colour and contrast features Samsung intended no matter where you sit. Of course, having this LED tech will give you a thicker display compared to most of the OLEDs on the market this year, but for the price it really does make a serious competitor when looking at the stunning picture quality that the QN94A has to offer. On top of all of this, Samsung boasts the inclusion of their own elite Quantum HDR2000 brightness powered HDR10+. This just means that colours and contrast are enhanced intelligently to create a picture that's true to life as ever, for that near flawless picture. You can see this tech easily at work here in everything I watch. It especially brings out the colours in animated movies, giving that breathtaking picture. One feature you will find missing from this TV is Dolby Vision, but this isn't a huge loss from what you can already see here, as the picture works incredibly with pretty much any content I watch, thanks to all of the intelligent features already at play. The QN94A is amongst one of the many TVs that focuses on integrating multiple gaming features that allow you to get the most out of your next-gen gaming. With Neo QLED and HDR included to provide complete 4K detail in your game, you get to fully experience games as they were meant to be played. Most importantly, you'll find the recent addition of the 2.1 HDMI, enabling full 4K gameplay with both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X in that most sought after 120Hz refresh rate with virtually zero input lag. Even though there's only one HDMI that has the 2.1 compatibility, it is a brilliant addition considering the price and still allows you to make the most out of your console. One of the most helpful features for gamers on this TV is the auto game mode. By entering the settings menu and toggling on a simple on switch, you'll find playing any game a much smoother experience. When activated, your TV will locate your console instantly, enhancing the signal to improve speeds, reduce overall lag and alter your settings to run games at peak quality. We played the Xbox Series X on this TV and as you can see it does play exceptionally well. With HDR enabled, the colours look bright, the games played relatively smooth and I enjoyed the uninterrupted gameplay on offer, as all the settings were automatically adjusted to make things comfortable. One of my favourite features has to be the game bar at the bottom of the screen. I never have to wonder if I was playing the game at full spec, because it gave me real time information on refresh rate, lag and FPS by allowing me to adjust game settings with a press of a button without leaving the game screen. I found the Xbox Series X works wonders when it comes to FreeSync Premium Pro VRR compatibility. After playing both VRR on and off, I can see the subtle differences when playing Gears of War 5. Everything looked beautifully smooth and benefited greatly when playing games online. Just bear in mind to activate the VRR feature, make sure the TV is updated with the latest software and that you have VRR enabled on your console settings. It also helps to enable Input Signal Plus on your TV for the corresponding HDMI port to fully access this feature. If you're looking for a bigger picture when gaming on your PC, you'll be pleased to discover the super ultra wide game view feature integrated into this TV. With the extended 21 by 9 and 32 by 9 screen ratios, you have more screen space to play with, allowing you to see more than your opponents. With a PC connected via HDMI or one of the remote connection interfaces available, all you have to do is equip the game bar to help you adjust your gameplay modes during play. When enabling this feature for the first time, just make sure that you change the display settings on your PC to match the TV to gain access to this full widescreen experience. When it comes to TVs, the sound can be just as important as a picture. Samsung has built integrated intelligent sound systems that truly complement this high visual quality. Instead of settling for the single audio output, this TV impressively has eight dedicated speakers to deliver a true dynamic sound experience. 
While watching a busy, energetic action sequence, you can pick out individual sounds as they're thrown from various corners of the screen using the object tracking feature, giving the surreal experience of being right in the middle of the action. I was impressed with the adaptive sound, as I know I'm normally turning the volume up and down when switching shows, but I hardly had to touch the volume controls at all. After using the QN94A for several hours, I can see where this TV is perfect for gaming and general use. It seems to do everything effortlessly, opening up connectivity with every device in the home, using simple interactions and auto features. As a gamer myself, I feel like I want to get the most out of my next generation console. I'd like to make the leap into procuring a TV that works in harmony with its specs, and I feel that the QN94A has definitely proven itself up for the task. Alongside all of the impressive gaming features, I do feel it lives up to its reputation, using as many automatic adjusting features as possible to enhance everything I watch. I enjoyed using the simple home interface to switch between apps, and it hardly took any time at all to get things set up the way I like it. So what do you think about the Samsung QN94A Neo QLED TV? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe as we review the latest tech on offer. And as always, thanks for watching.